Hi everyone, I'm Holly from Handprinted and I wanted to talk to you about the different options that you have for taking a print from a lino cut block. So with a lino cut block we are printing relief, that means we are rolling ink onto the surface of our block, placing paper on top to transfer the print to the paper. And there are lots of options that you can choose from for transferring the ink to your paper. The two main categories are hand burnishing and printing with the press. By hand burnishing, we usually mean anything that you physically print with by hand, usually something like a baron, to rub over the top of your paper to take your print. What you choose to use to take your print will depend on the equipment that you have available, if any, how large your block is and the effect you're trying to achieve, as well as your budget. If you're printing with a press, there are a few different kinds of presses you can use. You can use a relief printing press. We have done a video on taking a liner cut with a relief press before. They look like this. You can also use an etching press where the plate and the paper are rolled through a press on a print bed. They look like this. In general, using a press is fantastic because it's usually faster. It can be more easy to get a solid, more even print. And it's easier if you're printing large blocks because they would otherwise take a lot of elbow grease to take a print. Hand burnishing can be fantastic because it can be lower budget, take up less space. So if you're working in a home studio or on your kitchen table, it takes up much less space and it's a bit more flexible. If you are hand burnishing, it's usually a good idea to print with a slightly lighter weight paper. If you're printing on a press, you can usually get away with a thicker paper. So let's have a look at some of the options for hand burnishing. So when we are hand burnishing, what we usually want to do is ink up our block, lay it down on a flat surface. You can use a sheet of registration paper or you can use a cutting board underneath so you can see where you go, but I'm just gonna plonk this on top. And then to hand burnish, we need to rub all over the back of the paper to transfer the ink to the lino. Now the simplest way of doing this, if you haven't got equipment available, or if you're just starting out, is to just use your hand. If you make sure the paper is held still, you can use the heel of your hand or even your finger pads to rub all over the back of the paper to transfer your design to your paper. This isn't usually gonna give you the most even print, but it's great for proofing. It can be a little bit hard on your wrist if you're working large pieces, but this is just small, so it's not too bad. And it requires absolutely no equipment ever whatsoever. You can just use your hands. Lots of people like to use a spoon for taking their prints. So if I have a freshly inked block, paper goes back over the top, you can use a wooden spoon, like a kitchen spoon, or you can use a metal spoon, it's up to you, to work all over the back of your block. You can use a metal spoon, just be a little careful because of the friction this heats up a little bit. You could also just use a roller or a brayer. You want to choose something that's reasonably hard, not too soft, and you can just hold your paper in place and roll over the back. All we're doing here is exerting pressure on our paper, pushing the liner and the paper together so the ink can be transferred. So with just a clean roller, I can take a print or I've got those options for spoons as well. Our next options to choose from would be barons. Barons are used to rub all over the back of the paper to transfer the ink to the paper. This is a hard wearing plastic baron. We have all of these at handprinter.co.uk. It's got lots of little bumps all over it that transfer pressure evenly all over the paper. This is a bamboo baron. You can get standard ones or you can get coiled bamboo barons, sumi and beta barons. These work fantastically. You tuck your fingers under here. These are very inexpensive to use, so they're a great one if you're starting out and they do produce lovely prints as well. This one is a speedball baron. Great if you like a more of a grip and it's got a little bit of give in it. You see that there? It's a little soft. This one is an example of one of our ball bearing barons. This is a keen ball bearing barons, but we have a couple of types. And this has little ball bearings that rotate to roll over the paper. You would put your block down, your paper on top, and then using a little bit of grease proof over the top is a great idea. 
work your way all over the back of the paper to transfer your print. These are a great option if you want press quality prints but haven't got the space for a press. They can be used on all different sizes of work as well. The next option would be a slammer press and this is not a baron, it's actually a kind of press but it's in sort of in the format of a baron. The bottom plate rotates and it's got ball bearings, sort of like our ball bearing baron, but it's got a lot of weight to it. This is the small one. Um, we have done a video on slammer presses, so be go back and have a look if you'd like more information on these ones. They are a really lovely option. There are a few different kinds. This is the small one and then there are two large ones with different size and number of ball bearings that work for different weights of paper and different printing scenarios. This one you place down and work all over the back of the paper, just as if you were using a baron, but the weight of this press pushes down. You don't need to exert weight on it like you would with a standard baron. So now that's another option for taking a really good quality print. All of these options from hand burnishing with your hand, spoon, roller, different barons, slammer press, etching press or relief press are going to give you great prints, whether you're just starting out or you're getting really stuck into lino cut, there will be an option that suits you in your method. All of these materials, including presses, are available at handprinted.co.uk. Happy printing!